especially my material. I'm doing some bead working and uh, you're gonna enjoy. Check it out. Two computers. This one is mine. This one is Claudius, my partner. And check all this motherfucker thing. We got all sorts of feed beads. Damn, Swarovski crystals. More seed beads. An egg box. Whoa. This costs money. Not much. But it cuts. It's a world of bees. Pliers. You need at least three pliers to do beadworking. The flat point serves it's used for you to well crunch stuff make things tighter and even grab and hold and pull to um, you know to open things up round point plier enables you to do namely uh, you know See this? You may need to put a spiral on the on the point. So that's what it's used. And this is a cutting plier for you to chop. Very dangerous. Isn't it beautiful? I'm very fortunate to live in a square. That's a school. Check out the view. It's not a big square, but see the naked trees? It's quite romantic. So that's it. My little corner where I pass my time doing beads and doing my crazy shit on my pewter. Also, I want you to see what's going on in here in the other room. See, we've got a table pointed upside down, which is how all tables should be. Some examples of this is for a child. 11 years old still. Ooh, ooh. Other examples include and these well house success spelled. Let's just say I got 10 orders yesterday and 5 more today so I'm doing this over and over again it's used on the lapels and to hold on scarves and all sorts of stuff and if you desire one or more of these you know where to reach me Okay, now that your mouth is watering, let's see another part of the square, maybe from this window. See that um, gr uh, red thing over there? Let's try to zoom. Zoom it. Mailbox. Do you have these in the state? This is quite... Oh, 
I just love living in here. So this was the DAC. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and peace out. You can't touch this. You can't touch this.